just cool to like see people exactly like be excited about our stuff when they get it see people wear our stuff like i've always wanted to just do this pretty much so I'm Will from Toronto, Canada. Moved here about a year ago. Uh, I'm, I'm also Will. I'm from Vermont. I've been in the city for about two years and uh, it's been going well so far. <laughs> yeah, we met on uh, Instagram. Will was doing similar stuff to me at the time, which was just like putting little pieces of fabric on jeans, but he was using a machine and I was just doing it by hand. So I was like, oh, let's hit this kid up, see if he wants to join forces and mix the two crafts and see what we can make. What is your guys' brand? Um, I would say like reworked American vintage, which ranges from like jeans to like jackets and just like basic like workwear stuff that's been damaged and needs repairing. Yeah, just kind of like reimagined Americana as well. Like we take a lot of inspiration from like old like I don't know, like cowboy aesthetic, old like football, baseball, American aesthetic. It's definitely like grungy like mm -hmm. that would be in like skate culture, like like torn pants, like ripped, you know, distressed aesthetic. Um, I think subconsciously it comes from that a little bit, but. Just like the idea of getting something and just like wearing it, beating it up, kind of. Yeah, my clothes would get so sense. gross at the skate park when I was a kid. And I remember like, I had like skate park mud specific and like I'd know what's from the skate park and what's not. Everything we do is very like um, craftsy, like DIY-esque, so like, and that's what they were doing back in the day, so it's nice that we want to use like vintage, authentic fabrics, like of the time, so most of the time that's like trash in a lot of people's eyes, so we're buying like a bunch of bulk, like old fabric lots that would probably not see the day sitting in basements or being thrown out. The world doesn't necessarily need more clothing brands, you know what I mean? It's not something that people do not have, but we use what we have, like we use vintage Levi's, so it's not really creating more waste. What we do on some level is sustainable, because like we said, everything's already out there before we use it, but I don't know, we try not to like preach it like too hard, because I know other people in the field that are like going really hard and like so much more work that they're putting in to make sure like the, the waste management and everything is just, it's the world is just such a, a consuming wasteful place that like nobody including myself I think really fully realizes like you think about it a little bit here and there but it's just like there's so many like every little task you do in the house like kind of wastes like a little bit of resource somehow so I feel like sustainability in my eyes is like whatever you can do to make that amount you're using less whether that be water power uh, material I think although everything is very trend driven right now, I think people are more creative with dressing and just like being comfortable with dressing kind of however than anyone has ever been. Just in terms of society as a whole, people can kind of fit into any group that they want to and express that a lot through fashion, which I think is cool. What we do is just quite trendy, honestly. Like yeah. it's it's been done, it's so much. So like not to say ours is like not like that, but we're kinda trying to find a balance between like what sells because it's on trend and then like what's actually cool and on trend. So like obviously we wanna make sales. Like we wouldn't fully wear everything we make, but we know that and we, we do it because we also wanna make sales at the same time. So like hopefully one day we can get to a point where we're so conscious of it that we like don't even care and we just make what we want and we can have a good following that that's okay. Short term, we'd like to get a store pretty soon, within a year or so, just be like a pretty big level up for us. Long term, who knows? I love just like doing what we do, like when we both sit down and work and like the vibes are right, music is playing, we're just having fun when we're down like working and doing whatever it is. So the whole thing is just kind of a fun process.